To begin the quest, head to the area located here on the map. Make sure your cat is following you and speak to the wanderer. Choose the chat options on screen. Talk to her again and choose the fourth chat option. You will receive a small cutscene. You will now appear in front of a pyramid. Go ahead and open the door right beside you. You will now need to navigate through a pyramid. The first half has two parts to it, the trap, so you'll want to be very careful. The first half involves just some pushing walls. Simply walk sideways and avoid them. Now the second half has, you have to walk on very specific squares. So here on screen, I'm showing you exactly what you need to walk on top of. Once you're done with that first trap, go ahead and continue along the path. You can avoid all monsters as slaying them reaps no benefit. Keep going until you reach two large pits on the floor. Before you proceed, you will have to have at least 20% run to successfully uh, jump through the pit. Go ahead and jump on the left one, so the west one. Next, head west and click on the door to solve its puzzle. Next, keep clicking on the bird until you receive this specific puzzle right here. This will make it a lot easier. Then go ahead and click on these three individual squares in this order. And you will now have it solved. You will get a small cutscene and be kicked from the pyramid. Once out, drop your cat and speak to the Sphinx once again and choose the chat options on screen. Next, head south and talk to the high priest in the large temple. After the conversation, right click and examine your jar and take note of the animal that was mentioned. Now next we'll have to go through the pyramid, the meaning the traps and the jumping on the west side once again. So for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and jump cut to once we've reached the door once again. Once you jump the pit, you will receive a small cutscene. Then go ahead and enter the doorway. Now you will find some jars on the floor. Go ahead and right click them and examine them. Make sure you pick up the one with the same lid as the one mentioned in your inventory. 
a monster will spawn, simply slay it, then attempt to pick up the same jar you're supposed to once again. Next, exit the room and hop back to the other side of the pit. You will receive a small cutscene. Then hop back once again on the west side and solve the puzzle the same as before. If you need a reminder on the puzzle and the spots to click on, here is the timestamp on screen now. Once you're in, go ahead and drop your jar on the exact spot where you picked it up last time. Next, make your way outside of the pyramid. Once you're out, head south and speak to the high priest once again. and choose the first chat option. Once the conversation is over, head northwest and speak to the embalmer. He is found under a tent. Next, speak to the carpenter just east of the pyramid. And choose a second chat option. Speak to the carpenter once again, making sure you have that willow log in your inventory. Next, speak to right tool. He is found under a tent just north. Next, head west and speak to an embalmer twice. And for the last time, speak to the carpenter to the east. You will receive a holy symbol. And for the last time, you're going to have to make your way through the pyramid once again. Once you're at the pit, Go ahead and jump it. Any side is fine. Either way, it'll take you on the left side. Now with your final flashback, jump over the pit once again. And now head to the east side. Once in, use your unholy symbol on any sarcophagus. It doesn't matter. Either one is fine. Then exit the room. Go ahead and jump to the east side of the pit once again.
Enter the room and speak to the high priest. Go ahead and slay the possessed priest. Then speak to the high priest for the last time. After the conversation, you can now exit the pyramid. Go ahead and speak to the high priest on the southern temple. And... Quest complete.